Hello and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. And here we have Inter against Dortmund. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Two starting lineups. Gets things running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? I would say the very classy Marco Reus. Uh, he's a player who continues to highlight a, a real strength in German football with his irrepressible desire to get himself into the box. And he's become a top goal scorer as well. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Pushes it out wide. Lukas Piszczek. Doing well down the right, but he's left himself in need of support. <laughs> Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Lucas Piszczek, so what now? Jeffrey Kondogbia with a good steal, well played, cuts it out. Wasikowski. Looks like a good ball through. Now it's Royce. Royce showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. He's made sure that that won't get through. For Pastathopoulos. Half an hour played now. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Looks to slip it through. Defence has got rid of that. Dortmund can count themselves very lucky there. They look fragile. Now it's Blaszczykowski. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Dortmund got lucky. They have escaped lightly. That's not going to make it. This check. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. Here we go again. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more. He's delivered all right! And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. Time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. 
Royce just knew instinctively where the ball was going to end up. That's clearly been worked on on the training ground, and the understanding is, is pretty exceptional between them, and it was beautifully worked. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Throw it. Jeffrey Kondogbia goes for the cross. And the volley. And somehow it stayed out. Into the land, still trailing by one, and looking here to take it up a notch after the break. A chance to play it in. Dortmund get it back again. It's a long forward pass. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Now the pass. Kondogbia looking to run onto it. And he's there to hoof it away. And it's Blaszczykowski. Dortmund can't seem to retain possession. Look, should they not get back into this game, the possession stats will hold the reason why. Everything is a bit rushed and frantic. They need someone to impose a more composed approach and just settle it down. Tries a through ball. It's there to get rid. Struck first time. Disappointing finish in the end. That's a pretty powerful effort because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Blaszczykowski has created one goal already. It is looking like the end. If anything's going to happen, it's got to happen now. They've just got to get the ball into the box and hope. Blaszczykowski. Yes. Jürde passes it through. Ball through needs to be good here. Eder looks like a good ball through. Icardi gets it, and now what? We can get that clear. Jürde. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. Look, I think a draw might have been a much fairer result today. It's just that one crucial second-half goal. That's what cost them. Thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.